Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome to my March TBR. It's already March 6th, I've gotten nothing accomplished this month so far and I have a lot of books on my TBR. Can I do it? Probably not, but I'm still gonna share with you my plans. So yeah, like I said, I have a lot of books on my TBR that I would love to get to. A lot of them I would love to make reading vlogs for, so that also depends on, you know, when I can read them because I don't want to be reading two books at the same time that I'm making two different vlogs for and then have to deal with all of that because then I'll just get so confused and so stressed. So it's, it's a matter of timing that's crucial when it comes to doing this kind of thing. So um, wish me luck, crossing my fingers. I'm gonna share with you the books that I have plans for and we'll just go from there. So the first book that I am planning on reading because I actually have it on loan from my library and it is due in like nine days is The Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, is that her name? I don't know, the book will be up here, but it's the first book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series, which is a middle grade series that has like eight or nine books. Like it's a crazy long series. Y'all have been telling me so many good things about it. So I have it on my list. It's I've literally had it on loan and I just haven't gotten to it yet. My app keeps telling me that like two people are waiting for this book and I should have just like put off the hold rather than like take it out on loan, but it is what it is. We're here, I'm making people wait. I will read this book, I swear, I will read it. Actually, I don't remember really anything about the plot of this story other than that there's this girl and she meets this boy who can do the same things that she can do or something. I don't know, this girl just gets like whisked away to this new world where she finds out that she belongs and something like that. I don't know. So the next two books I'm putting on this TBR are I think a little ambitious but I'm going to do my best to get to them and make vlogs for them anyway and those books are Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. <laughs> I am going to read these books if it kills me. I'm going to do it. I've said time and time again on my channel that the reason that I haven't read these yet, specifically Chain of Gold because it's the first book, is because I've been trying to get to Queen of Air and Darkness and finishing it for years now, literal years now, and I haven't finished it. The farthest I've made it is probably 30% through the book and then I've given up. And I said, you know what, Ashley, you're not going to get to start a new Cassandra Clare book until you finish that book, God damn it. And what do you know? I've never finished it, but I'm gonna force myself to get to these new books anyway. <laughs> I don't know what stopped me from finishing Queen of Air and Darkness. I really don't. I'm going to finish it eventually, but it's just not that time yet. So for now, I'm going to try to get to the last hours. Chain of Iron just recently released, like literally four days ago. So now is as good a time as ever to read them because everybody's reading it and everybody's loving it. I'm just gonna try to get to them and make reading vlogs for them and that's that. That's my plan. Wish me luck. Also, I just realized that this TBR is a little all over the place. I have fantasy, I have contemporary, I have romance, I have middle grade. I have a lot of different things happening on this TBR, so just bear with me. I'll get to the next fantasy book so that we can then get to the contemporary romance. Um, the next fantasy I have on this TBR is one that I had on my January TBR but I didn't get to, and that is a reread of the Last Magician series by Lisa Maxwell, because technically this month, I think, I'm pretty sure this month, uh, the third book, The Serpent's Curse, is supposed to come out, and I am ready for it. I want it so bad, but I don't remember half of what happened in the first two books of this series, other than that I absolutely loved them and so I would love to reread them to prepare which I can totally do but my brain just tells me like why would you need to reread that when you have so many other things you could be getting to right now instead of rereading a book that you've already read before but then the other half of my brain is like but you don't remember anything that happened in this series so you should probably reread it and ignore all your other responsibilities so that you can be prepared when it comes out and then all of me is just totally confused and conflicted so here we go. I've talked about this book in series so many times on my channel. If you are not aware, it's kind of like a blend of historical fiction and fantasy. It's got a sort of ragtag group of like people. Um, there's a heist involved. There's time traveling involved. There's so many things that are happening in this series. It's so good and I've just highly recommended that everybody read it if you enjoy fantasy or historical fiction or anything like that. It's just really good. I love it so much. So I'm looking forward to hopefully rereading it. We'll see what happens. So the romance that I would love to read this month is Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, which can you see it with the light in this video? I hope you can see this book. This is the second book in the Brown Sisters series. Chloe Brown and Danny Brown and Eve Brown, they're sisters in the books. So they each have their own book and uh, Chloe Brown was great, Get a Life Chloe Brown. So I'm really excited to read this one especially because I hear that people say that this one is even better than Get a Life Chloe Brown, so really looking forward to it. Get a Life Chloe Brown was enemies to lovers and this one is fake dating I think, so I'm really 
excited because I love a fake dating story. And yeah, I've just heard a lot about these books and um, I loved the first one. So I'm really looking forward to getting to the second one. Um, I had to buy it as soon as I read that one because I knew that I was going to want to get to it as soon as possible. And here it is, I wanna get to it. So hopefully it'll happen. So the last book that I wanna talk about is none other than Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi, which I was not expecting to put on this TBR, but I got it in the mail from Simon Teen, so thank you so much, Simon Teen, by the way, and I just realized that I wanted to read it. I've actually read all of her books, and I didn't even know that I had read all of her books until I thought about it and realized that she's only published three books. This is her third book, and I've read Emergency Contact and Permanent Record. I liked Emergency Contact. I was not the biggest fan of Permanent Record, but I did enjoy it for the most part. I got this book and I was like, well, I'm already on a roll with reading all of her other books. I have to read this one. The only things that I know about this story is that it actually follows two sisters, which I'm looking forward to reading about because I love books about siblings. It says June is three years older than Jane. Um, June is a classic firstborn narc with a vile finance job in a soulless apartment, according to Jane. And Jane is an emotionally stunted, self-obsessed crybaby who lives in squalor, has a gregarious taste in men, and needs to get her ass to class, in June's words. So the sisters used to be really close, and then eventually they grew apart, and they end up coming back together when June gets cancer. So it honestly sounds like a very, very, very sad, like, very serious story. But from what I know from experience with Mary H.K. Choi's writing, she has a way of um, writing that makes it feel very like casual and very like I don't know another way to say it like it's just very colloquial like especially with permanent record she got Pablo's voice down so well it's like you go into that story and you know exactly the type of person that Pablo is you know exactly how he views the world like exactly like just who he is as a person based on her writing and how she wrote him as a character and it's just so good that was like the one thing that i really loved about that story was her writing and his voice and so i know from experience she has that ability to make a story that is essentially a very like deep thoughtful serious story like i believe this one is going to be and turning it into something that's like just super relatable and like really uh, i don't know another way to say it but it's so good so i'm really looking forward to this book just to see what she ends up doing with it because i didn't know anything about it initially and then when i read the synopsis i was like okay i'm interested to see where this is gonna go especially with her writing so looking forward to this one. So I know that this TBR is like totally doable for me considering I read 10 books last month and half of them were like 600 plus page books. But if you've watched my February wrap up, then you'll know that I recently started a TV show that I shouldn't have and it's taken over my life. And so I'm really hoping that I can get to at least half of these this month and call myself a winner. <laughs> what books are you guys planning on reading in March? What is a, you know, are there any upcoming releases that you're really looking forward to this month? Are there any I don't know, anything that you're looking forward to reading, let me know in the comments. But other than that, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, all my handles are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye!